asked us to go to the kids and uh, teach them about seaweed. So this is what we do in the Irish Seaweed Research Group and we took them to the shore first of all to show them where seaweeds grow naturally and then we went um, to, into the classroom and we talked about and we did experiments with seaweeds. Today we made agar caviar which was boiled up agar with food colouring and uh, it was kept hot and this was distributed out to all, all the different groups in the class. You need to keep it very steady and they were given pipettes to drop hot agar into cold vegetable oil. So they understood some of the food uses that seaweeds are used for. The Babaro Beast project is great for the children because they wouldn't normally see a research group such as ours and it's such a diverse thing to study that perhaps we'll be inspiring marine biologists of the future. You can take any problem and make a dramatic story out of it. Even small things can cause big problems. My first concern is that they learn how to tell a story. Uh, but one of the good things about learning how to tell a story is in the same way that when you're teaching something, you have to think about it, you have to work things out. There's only one type of thing that is edible. Also, <laughs> So I suppose what I'm trying to do is give them a reason to care. I suppose that's what it comes down to. Every time a plant goes extinct, um, or an animal goes extinct, that's not just something that's happened in the, in the, in the world of nature, it's also something that, that's been taken away from us. The reason that I'm working as a storyteller with the scientists who actually know far more about the issue is I'm not an expert in the issue, but I am good at getting kids to think about it as a story. What's a big thing that could affect seaweed? Humans, yeah, and what particularly about humans? What is it we do? Pollution. Pollution, yeah. So you can deliver the facts and that'll get, you know, that's fine, that'll get into their brains. But in terms of making people care about something, you have to provoke empathy, you have to create a story, and by creating the story, they should be emotionally compelled to do something. Anybody else? By doing storytelling with them, I get them to think about the stuff that they've done with the scientists in a different way, to think of it in a different light.